So here's a quick video on the uh, Pisces P100 Outdoor Miner. Uh, you may have already seen my previous video. If not, be sure to log into the uh, channel and have a look um, on the Helium Hunter channel. Uh, I had a couple of questions on the last video, so I thought I'll address them in a little update. So I've slightly relocated the miner a little bit higher up, but a few people were asking about the actual indoor setup, uh, particularly with the um, Ethernet cable and, and you know, the PoE injector and which model I'm using, etc. So first of all, this is actually the PoE injector here. And the one I'm using is TP-Link branded because my network is TP-Link as well. And this is one of the recommended ones on the Discord. And it's the TLPOE106S PoE injector. And the way it works is quite simply, you plug this power brick into your wall here, and then you have two Wi-Fi um, Ethernet cable sockets on the back here, an input and an output from your router. In my case, it's actually a mesh network extender. Uh, I TP-Link as well. Um, I plug in the Ethernet cable here. This is a Gen uh, Scat 6 cable, uh, and then plug it into the back of the PoE injector. And the other end is the output section, which takes the data from the um, uh, router as well as the power from the PoE injector and sends it across this cable, which is an outdoor Cat 7 cable, out into the um, into the garden so that I can route it up to the to the um, Pisces miner, and that'll allow it to power up and take the internet connection with it. We go outside quickly. Uh, a couple of people asking about how I've got it set up. Well. At the moment I've moved it slightly, so it's currently connected to the pole here. Uh, I'll zoom in so the audio doesn't disappear. Uh, and you can see that I've got the C-clamps there, just mounted like this, which is not particularly difficult to do. Um, as you can see, it's got a washer and a locking nut there to allow it to stay put. You could tighten that up some more, but it's actually resting on the truss here, so it's not particularly... In, in, unstable. You then connect the um, cable to the uh, aerial antenna rather, 4 dBi antenna, or whichever antenna you choose to use up there. Some people are also asking why I've got a cable, why don't I just stick the miner up there and then I don't need to run a cable and risk the, uh, the losses that may come from just cable loss um, because you do lose a couple of dBi in each connection and in the cable itself. Well, in my case, I don't particularly want the aerial up there to get blown about in high winds and then for that to damage the uh, connection point going into the miner. I can replace the, the aerial, uh, not too much, but I don't particularly want to replace the entire miner because the connection gets damaged. So this way, even if the antenna was to move, it's not going to damage the miner itself. That's the rationale for me doing it that way. And the connection up there, as you can see, is again a couple of C clamps. These ones are provided uh, with the um, with the mine itself, so it's not um, uh, one that I've purchased. And it just connects, uh, screws down securely to the antenna, and uh, the C clamps in a similar way to the mine itself, to whichever pole or um, fixture you're connecting it to. But you you can connect it to you know uh, anything. You can connect it directly to the wall. If you're doing it uh, on your home side of your house uh, or you can connect it to the pole as I've done here uh, and then you can see the Ethernet cable is running out the bottom of the mire here uh, and into the house uh, which we've just been inside. Uh, I hope that answers the questions there. Uh, in terms of trying to set up the um, uh, the a quick sync some people are having some issues just to be clear when you put in the first URL which is uh, in the description of the first video um, you will just get a blank screen so don't be alarmed by that it's not meant to show up a fancy kind of screen it is just shows a white blank screen and then you put in the second URL again in both you have to put your own IP address in for the miner which is something you can obtain um, Basically, once you do the port forwarding, you'll know how to obtain the IP address. Uh, and you put the second bit of code in uh, after the first one, and then you'll get, after several minutes of having the second one put in, 
uh, an error code come up which says uh, something like um, error timeout or something like that and that means actually it's worked although it's an error message it's actually worked and at that point you should be uh, able to check your block height and it should be the same block height as the um, P the Pisces um, or very close to the the helium network block height and on your Pisces minor so um, then it won't take much longer to sync up to the network uh, anyway hope that's been helpful um, short video but uh, one that answers hopefully a few questions that some of you may have had uh, any further questions pop them down below and I'll do my best to answer them cheers bye bye